Welcome everybody, it is time for Android 15. Yes, the beta 2 is here and this time guys, some exciting changes. And it's important to just see what Google are putting under the hood in the latest Android release, which is now still at beta. And over the years, I have tried to cover everything, starting from Android 14, 12, 11, whatever, you can find it here on all the videos. I was really trying to cover every time Android beta started. And you know how it goes. They start every year very, very soon in February with the DPs, the developer previews. Then we have a few months for better releases. And then at some point, late summer almost, September, probably even a bit earlier, we are hitting stability release, which means, yeah, now also the latest pixel or the next pixel. So because we are now already in May, guys, and we have already the better two, I want to give you this short overview, really features that I do believe you can see, I can see, I can show you, and you can see them, right? Because in the latest years, all the updates that Google are introducing are just getting from bigger to medium to kind of like tiny updates. Because remember, yeah, how much can you change a noise that has already like 15 iteration, right? So things like widgets, things like HDR, low light photography, all of this is already there. We have it since years and now they're really trying to build up on what they have. And after talking guys, you can also go and check the Google site themselves. So the better tool is now available, latest feature and changes. I'm gonna focus on a few one that I do believe are like the top features and I do believe that are the ones that are not only under the hood, but you can use your hands and eyes, you know, to touch and see. But besides these guys, you can also get the Android 15 beta, not only on Pixel devices, but also on some partner devices. And well, this is, like I said, feature packed. So some things that we had in the past now are being brought more and more into the mainstream. And there are some very nice and interesting things like, for example, private space, things that we are yet to see for the first time in Android and things that we already use with some other brand. But enough talking, I have fired up here my my virtual Pixel 8 Pro guys running the very latest Android 15 Beta 2 and I'm gonna show you what I do believe is to be shown. The first thing I wanna share you is not private space, it's not some fancy features, it's something very simple but I've been criticizing Google and other brands for that. So let me show you. When you reach out for the volume rocker, you get the standard volume rocker with the captures live. But the moment you click the three points, now finally, we are getting this unification in the design and you're also able to control the media but then also your call volume with this nice animation also individual volume for the ring notification and for the alarms and i really like this one you can also click here to um, collapse it and uncollapse it this is really how it should have been since the moment google introduced this change in the design when they brought these buttons because i was saying like hey this doesn't make sense they changed the brightness bar they changed all the buttons here now why the heck you know when you click here in the three dots on the older versions you know how it goes you just get these very tiny lines and it never really drive me crazy so the feature number one is really this redesigned ui from the volume which i think is, is quite nice this here is a virtual phone i'm running android studio but the moment i click inside you can see that I am indeed using the latest iteration. And this time the Android is no longer some cupcakes or whatever cakes, right, log nuggets. This time it's ice cream. So it's vanilla ice cream. And the moment I go inside, you can see Android 15, right? So this is kind of like the Easter egg. And yeah, I mean, we've been used to getting this Eastern X in all the other Android version. This is also now the new logo. I think it's cool. I like it. Okay, so now 100% sure that we are indeed using the real thing. So of course, Eastern X is not something to be considered uh, as a feature. I want to show you directly feature number two. Um, this is the private space. So the moment you click settings and you go to private space, it's going to be under the security. You will be prompted to enter your PIN code the moment you have a pin code or anything else to make sure that you can lock it unlock your phone you're gonna get something called private space you will be able to keep private apps locked and hidden so the moment you click all right we have to re-enter my secret pin code all right and boom private space hide and lock private apps in a separate space use a dedicated google account for extra security so for the first time in the history of Android, without, of course, tampering with this and also getting root, you're able to not only, right, like lock some applications that you only know what they are, behind, let's say, a pin or fingerprint, you can also use another Google account. And this really brings some options there. So you can hide the lock private apps. You can also use another account. You can choose a Google account for your space, which is critical, set a lock, install apps. 
apps in your private space won't appear in the permission manager privacy dashboard so practically invisible this is going to be absolutely transparent so let me just set it up this clones the main system right and you can also create a google account to help keep your data private so in case you want really this additional layer of security go and do another account if not you can use the main account now choose a new lock for private space you can even choose your other lock right because maybe your kids and i'm not sure like who else knows your pin code but you can get a new one in my case i'm going to use the same one right so i'm just going the easiest way which you're not supposed to do if you want to play secure now all is set to find your private space, go to apps list, then scroll down, guys. And the moment, you know, like you just go inside uh, the app drawer like this, right? And I just scroll down, boom, there's going to be this thing called private. Once you enter your pin code, boom, you're going to get this additional section. And now you know how it goes, guys. Calendar, camera, Chrome, you can decide to install apps that are only going to be available here under this private space. And remember, you can also access it with a different account, like not the main one, or you can decide to log applications already installed. So let's say you don't want your kid to use YouTube, boom, you can lock it, which technically should be quite nice. Now, you can always go back, right? And remember, change settings. So you can use the same screen lock. You can use another one. You can also use another account and you can hide private space when it's locked, which is actually quite nice. Now, the moment, guys, I turn it on, yeah, then the private space is just not going to be there. Then you need to, in the search bar, press enter private space. Actually, let's test this, guys. So private space will hide next time you lock it. All right, so I'm just going to get outside now back to um, the main home screen. So one more time, private space is there. I'm going to press lock. And now, boom, see, absolutely no private space. So I, I give you this phone, unless of course you know that I'm using Android 15, well, you have to type private space, start typing private space until you get to this icon here and then you know how it goes. So definitely one of the new things that I believe Android users, like Pixel users will be happy. Not Android users, because a lot of Android users already use things like Shelter and other very, very similar features. Now, something that I do believe is also new, and I'm going to show this to you guys. When you go inside the settings and you start typing satellites, well, satellite messaging and phones, the moment I say these two keywords, I know what you're thinking about. You're thinking first Apple, and nobody will probably even mention Qualcomm, but remember they tried to test this. It didn't really go well. So, apparently, Google want to put some emphasis on this so satellite messaging should also be brought hopefully to the next level in case of course you buy a pixel device and your carrier support so we still have to see how this works there are other changes i want to share you guys something about vibration that is kind of cool in fact not really normal vibration they put something called adaptive vibration for some reason again it's not available here but the phone is using somehow the sensors to allow you to give you a customized vibration based on the way you use it and the talk is that you should also be able to free vibration as per individual application which is actually quite nice now the under the hood changes are so many guys something i want to show you in this video richer widget previews with the generated previous api now what does this mean let me show you when you are on the main screen trying to add some widgets right and you like for example search for clock we have the standard android clock widgets but this time you can see right you're getting this nice preview it's in real time and you can see for the first time in in, in android releases right we have this preview in the widgets again very minor things but remember and i there's so many so a lot of tiny things eventually will hopefully lead up to a nice quality improvement and something i wanted to also show you this is the predictive back gesture now see what happens here guys if i want to go back with the predictive gesture i can now see what i have under the hood so let me let me show another option so open spotify on your phone if you use android 14 right and you browse spotify the moment you try to swipe out right you're gonna get something like this which is normal now back on this main screen guys do one more time the same thing on your android 14 and you're gonna still see the previous screen but here in my case right see i know already what i'm getting if i am to go outside so let me enter my network settings so i enter the main settings and then i enter the network and internet settings so if i do something like this see i can already see the other screen popping up here and this time predictive back gestures they work almost everywhere in android 13 we had them in android 14 we had them but we had to go into the developers option and enable them and it only worked for a specific section now we can use this almost everywhere this is crazy like sms messages for example all right 
somebody messaged me I have plenty of messages pretend now boom this doesn't work but when I go like this see even from here you can see I'm able to swipe out and go and check the main screen some other uh, things that I wanted to show you and I'm gonna conclude the video HDR headroom control remember you're browsing your phone and we have now HDR displays inside the S24 Ultra the moment you open an HDR video for an Instagram boom it blows your mind you know like it really blows up uh, the brightness now with the headroom control you are able to just select how much headroom you want in case you're watching Asia content right uh, to just adjust the brightness and not get blinded when you browse at night so the brightness of the SD area elements on the left screen appears to be more uniform than the brightness on the right screen which simulates possible headroom issues with HDR and SDR and you can adjust the HDR room meaning like this gap between HDR and HDR and if you want to check the full change lock so many things again there are really, really so many things, and I have one last thing to show you, which I believe is extremely cool. Now, I'm opening my Spotify app, all right? I'm inside, then I want to go and do a screen record, okay? But this time, guys, start screen recording. I have the option to screen record a single app, right? Or the entire screen. So I'm going to choose a single app, all right? I'm also going to choose record audio if I want, and I'm going to press start recording, okay? This is just genius, and I have to admit, we don't have this still in one year. It's really crazy. I really hope that this is gonna be default. Well, let me choose Spotify, right? So I'm doing whatever I'm doing in Spotify. Remember, checking some nice music. Of course, there is an error, but the moment I go outside, guys, the screen recording will keep recording the app that is open and will stay in the background. Well, what can I tell you, guys? Again, remember, a lot of tiny things that eventually will add up to hopefully something, if not big, then at least, improvement quality of life and will just give us a better usage thank you so much for watching guys remember to support the channel vsd over and bye